All right, yeah, yeah, you know what it is. It's DJ Diamond Cuts, and I got a special guest with me, another special guest, okay? The specialist, this cat, <laughs> is in the building. How you doing, sis? I like that, the specialist. The specialist. <laughs> I love I'm a it. trademark thing, this. Is that it? Well, it kind of is a specialist, but I like it. it's not the way I put the spin on it, so but it's I mine. Like it. You feel me? <laughs> no, we here with Miss Cat. How you feeling? I'm good. And you came all the way to Philadelphia, girl, to check on your family, but to also check on me. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, did. Y'all already know. <laughs> Y'all already know, child. I remember first thing in the morning. Yes. Hey. On my way to school. Hey, ah! let's get it. You know, the radios is still lit. You on know, the charter what I'm bus. Okay? <laughs> on the charter on bus. On the charter bus. Take me back to where Miss K started as a, as a child growing up in Philadelphia. Give me Damn. like the whole rundown. Okay. Uptown is Uptown. the start. Okay. UPT. Uptown. Don't play with it. West Oak Lane. To yes. Be exact. Yes. Um, I went to Roxborough. Oh, you went to Roxborough? Oh, I okay. went to Roxborough. Um, we used to catch the charter right here at uh, mm -hmm. Germantown and Shelton. Yep. Um, I used to take the K mm -hmm. to the charter, charter to Roxborough. And um, that's where it all started. That's where it all I'm started. I'm an uptown baby. Yes. We got grass. Yes. Hmm. We got grass. Hmm. Got grass on them lawns. Don't hmm. play with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, because you know it's crazy. I, I I see you doing your thing. You know, you've been doing your thing for a while. Yeah. But I was like, was you always like a bad girl? Like, was you always oh, into man. fighting? And you know what's crazy? Let me say what? what's crazy. So one of my um, security teams that ended up, once I did like BGC and stuff, and I actually needed to like, you know, when you go to these cities, you got to be there. Yeah. He actually was the school police at Roxboro. Mm. And it's so funny because he just ordered all this stuff from the store or whatever. And he was like, my wife love you. And I was like, okay. And he was like, you know, he called his wife. The wife literally was like, hey, so you want to tell me about the story when <laughs> you was in a police, um, they had like this little holding cell <laughs> yeah. on Champlos at mm -hmm. the, um, 35th district. I know. Uh -huh. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and he like, I used to fight with the boys though. I never fought with the girls. I wow. always fought with the boys. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you don't remember? You was in the holding cell and the same little boy that I know now because he like a little boss or whatever, but he's fire. Yeah. He was like, he was in the holding cell and I had to stay with y'all. And the wife knew the whole story. Wow. She was like, I know your business. So I was like, why you, wow, why you, you tell your wife my business? Like Damn. <laughs> but we was kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And back mm -hmm. then you could do stuff like that. You could fight with somebody and then it'd be all right afterwards. You'd be cool. It yeah. was no Now no, they no. shoot you up and yeah, all that. Yeah, they'll shoot you for real. Yeah. No cap. It's straight. It's a different it's a time. It's a, it's a, it's a horrible thing. It's shame. a different time. Now yeah. you grew up and you have like nine sisters or something I do. like that? I do. What was that like? I now, do. Did they, all did they all live with you? Or no, okay, they? so I'm the oldest of four girls. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. But my dad's kids are like this. We are so close. Oh, so I it's love it. 14 of us total, and we all like this. Mm. So when they get into some shit, we would get into some shit, and that's just how it was. Like, <laughs> you know how, like, when you got a real big family and yep. you're all close, mm -hmm. somebody is going to call with something yeah. one time or another. Yeah. And then they all girls. Mm -hmm. You know how girls are. Yeah. Oh, wait, so it's all girls, no brothers. It's nine girls. Wow. And then it's boys. Okay. So yeah. Yes. My dad is a child. He was out, he was a rolling stone. He's still a rolling stone. Ah, he's still out my there dad, getting it. My dad's oldest is 44. Wow. His youngest is seven. Shell. Seven? Mm. That's younger than my son. You good. Seven. What you say? Did you have a conversation with him? Like, I always have a conversation with him because the baby mom is like my age. I said, you need to stop. Oh, he out here. He in out here street. in these streets. Is he still in the city or? I just he... left him about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. I'm, yeah, my I'm sister done. got a food truck and the generator wasn't working, so we was out there with the generator. Hold out. on, shout the food truck out. <laughs> That's your whole thing. It's a whole thing. Yes. Entrepreneurs. It's, yeah, so um, shout out Brills Grill. Okay. Open three days a week. Check it out. As a matter of fact, I posted on my IG so y'all yeah. can get the information. Make sure you post the food that. is oh. so good. Oh my, what kind of, like, what does she specialize so in? Soul food. Soul food. Nice. Food. And you and your healthy kid, because it's a, um, we're, we're in Germantown right now, and this is produce um, store. I always go there too, and they yes. got everything, everything in there. What, you, what did you grab when you went to their produce I got store? pineapples, I got mm -hmm. beet juice, I got Irish moss, and some nettle. When did you get on the sea moss though? Okay, so my grandma is a Buddhist. What? Yeah, very much so. Okay. Always has been super healthy lady. Remember I told you she a city girl? Yeah. Not Carisha city girl. Mm -hmm. Like literally in the middle of center city on her super whole foods kick my whole life. Wow. That's and me and my grandma real close. 
So I grew up like that. Like, you know, you eat a certain amount of fruit a day, you drink your herbal teas, you nam your whole ring, they kill it out if you get upset, <laughs> you, she'll make you meditate. Like, that was my upbringing. Wow. Yeah. And so when you, because you're a gardener too. I'm a gardener too. Which yes. is wild. It is wild. That's but I a, love it. That's, you know, that's because you grew up with the grass. That's, yes. With the plain, <laughs> again. You know what I mean? With the grass. With the grass. On a heavy lawn. on the grass. Yes, heavy on the grass. So it was kind of like second nature to you, yeah. I guess. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. So Plus, I just like peace. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. The wild shit is cool when yeah. it's when it's time for that. Like, mm -hmm. if you bother me, then it's just it ain't really no coming back from it until I'm decided, you know, till I come. Yeah. But for the most part, like, I really do like my peace. Like, I was gonna ask you. We I was gonna get to that later, but we are gonna get to it now since we here. Yeah. Because we have arrived. Yeah. The peace. How do you sleep in that house? I be I watch it and I'm like, how do you sleep in there? All right. <laughs> you guys even one eye open. Somebody might be mad at you for no reason. You know what it is in that house? The it's a lot of like just immature childish shit. Mm -hmm. And at this big age, I'm not doing it. Right. I'm just not. Like, you know, I'm 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 a lot of fun until I'm not. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's all we can laugh, we can joke until it gets to the point where I'm like, knock it the fuck off. Right. Like it get ah, we're not doing that no more. Mm -hmm. You bitches is getting on my nerves. I'm sick of this shit. What are we gonna do? Cause I'm ready to stop. Y'all ready to stop? Yeah. And then it's like, oh hey, okay, now she on her mom <laughs> shit. But at this age, that's just how I am. I just my patience is Yeah. My tolerance is so low. Yeah. It's so low. I slept through a couple fights, actually. Really? Yeah. I remember getting woke up by Stunner at one point. Like, get up. Make sure these bitches don't jump me. And I'm like, this is like the eighth time at yeah. this point. Like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> come on, man. Like, damn. <laughs> now, how do you protect yourself? Because I feel like everybody be it's like when somebody got beef in their house it's like everybody jumped in on that one person like it's you know no crazy. it's not I'm gonna I'm tell you what it is what a is lot it? of people come on there and they know what they want to do mm -hmm. they be looking for their camera time and for me I'm not no hater you came on here what you came on here for you get yes. what I'm saying and if you want to go get your camera time because you want to go punch this bitch in the face do you right you get what I'm saying <laughs> mm -hmm. just leave me the fuck out of it right because I didn't come here for that yeah. I did that when I was their age you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying when I was when I was on BGC I was 23 years old right I was with the dumb shit I wanted to just walk up to you and push you and see what you was going to do you know like I get it that just wasn't for me this time yeah so I couldn't see myself coming on here doing that again doing it again so when they ask you to do it I mean did you kind of have like the position you were going to play in the house at the time like I'm gonna go in there but I'm not gonna be like I was on BGC so I got the phone call first season mm. I got the phone call second season wow. I, it wasn't until the third season that I actually decided like all right I'm gonna fuck with it I, I even asked my husband like what you think you know like I I've come a long way. I've mm -hmm. been to therapy, a bitch is healed. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm in the garden and I'm like, you know, is this really what I want? Like, and he was like, go have some fun. And when he gave me to like pull the trigger, I was like, oh shit. I can so do I this. can like, you know, mm -hmm. so I was like, all right, fuck it, let's do it. And I had a great time. I just wasn't sure what I was going to give because right. I'm just in such a different place in my life. Yeah. You know, I'm married, I got businesses. My husband, we be on his boat, you know, at yeah. two o'clock in the afternoon eating tacos and smoking weed and shit. Like, right. I, my life is so different now. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't really sure what I was going to give, um, but I knew I had came a long way. Yeah. So it, it was a vibe, it was. So I did have fun. Yeah, no, I know, I know you definitely did. I see that and I, I see that role with you within the house as well, because yeah. I felt like, Whenever it was a lot going on, you just be chilling. Like, here they go with the dumbness, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you would kind of give them game, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's, is that what they look to you towards? Like, Well, yeah, I mean, Ed, Ed, you gotta remember, these girls are 22, 24 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. Like, my girlfriend's kids is they age. Right. So for me to be out there squabbling with these young bitches, that's not, it's not giving it. Right. Like, I wouldn't be out here squabbling with my girlfriend's kids. What the fuck is that? <laughs> like, you know, like, right. I hate them old bitches that's still in the mix that look crazy. You just, right, you just wanna be out here. You yeah, wanna be seen. You wanna be seen, or maybe you didn't live your life once upon a time. Right. Oh, bitch, I lived mine. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I was on tour with rap rappers and video, music video vixens and shit. I did all that. Mm -hmm. So for me, I wasn't missing out on no life. I don't have no kids. I travel. I was in Nigeria and Dubai and all these other crazy motherfucking places. I've done that. Yeah. So I can't do nothing but give you game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what else can I do? I'm definitely not getting my motherfucking lace front snatched off by somebody's fucking child. Big thing. Seriously. Big Because it's, it's, it's up after that. And I'm not <laughs> never going to stop. Right. And then I'm going to be the old bitch that won't stop. Right. 
That's like, that's clown shit to me. And also too, like I said, I was their age. So I don't be mad when they want to get their shit off. When y'all want to get y'all camera time, go get your camera time. Right. Just leave me the fuck out of it. Yeah. Like I think I went into it and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get in the mix. And then I, I slowly but surely, I'm observant. Yeah. That first 48 hours, I was paying attention. Yeah. I was sitting back like this. I feel like that's what we do though. Mm -hmm. You know, when you, that, that's a different. I know you were talking about the difference between, you know, the girls from Philly and the yeah. girls up in the house. Yeah. We observant. We pay attention. We look, we're quiet. We're going to watch the way you move and then we're going to address you accordingly. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm going to know if you're a goofy or not. It's right. only, it's not going to take me long to figure out if you're a goofy. Yeah. And I'm going to just sit back and I'm going to see what's going on and then I'll decide if I want to fuck with you or not. Right. And that's me. Yeah. I give, you know how they say you got a 90 day grace period. I give you a grace period. <laughs> I see what it's given. And if I want to fuck with you, cool. But if not, no. Mm -mm. We're going to move around. Now, we gonna see what else is going on out here. How did you get into this whole world? Because, you know, take it back to BGC. Okay. Audition. What was going through your mind? What made you want to audition for that? I auditioned twice. Okay. The first time was in Atlanta. They didn't even give me a second look. Wow. And I had like my best shit on. I was you came like, out there ah. like, they gonna get me. <laughs> I auditioned the second time in Philly. It was a blizzard. I had pin curls in my head, I had a bonnet on, I had on some dick Uggs, I looked a hot, dirty ass mess. But I was like, I'ma just try it again, you know, just to see. Um, I actually got a call back. Wow. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? So, um, fast forward, I go in like maybe three days later to meet the production team, yeah. and they couldn't believe it. They was like, you not the same girl that was here before. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's really me. Like, they like, nah. You dumb did all you look down. like something. Like, <laughs> that girl look crazy. And so, at the time, I was doing all these things, um, and I just—I was who I said I was. Like, I ain't going there lying, you know. Mm -hmm. I really was doing all this stuff. So they was like, "Okay, cool." So I went to LA. I met with production, and next thing you know, it was up. But that's what I used to do, though. Mm -hmm. I didn't do music videos. I didn't do commercials. I was acting back then. I used to take the mega bus mm, to New to York, New York. Yeah. like you know, FISA. Yeah, yeah. Me Wait, and FISA. Which FISA? FISA from. Um, FISA, FISA's in everything right now. Um, Black Lightning, everything. Okay, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Me and FISA laugh, because like, we used to see each other on the mega bus. Wow. The dollar bus to New York. Mm -hmm. We would see each other, like we would just go to New York and audition just for hella shit. And every now, every time I see her now, I'll be like, bitch, it paid it off. It really paid off it for paid her, she's in like everything. She's killing it. I love but she just, but she just in the Whitney movie? Yeah, she's in the Whitney movie. That's uh, Whitney fire, movie. yes. yes. That's yeah. amazing. So we used to just go up there, like, and not even together. Like, I would just literally see her grinding. And that's just how it came about. Like, I would just go up there. It was a place called Ripley Greer Studios. Mm -hmm. um, and they would have this big board of auditions that you could just go to in a day. Wow. And I would just go up to the board and I would be like, all right, cool. I probably had like maybe $20 <laughs> for lunch, you know. Yeah, I know how it is. You yeah. get on the back of the bus, yeah, you yeah. scratching and surviving. Yes, and mm -hmm. that's exactly how it was. I would just audition for everything, whatever wow. was on the board. I was just going there just and be going, like, go. You just knew you was going to be a star. <laughs> I, had I had 30 headshots in my bag, like. Right, which one you doing? want? <laughs> how you doing? My name is Kat. Here you go. <laughs> I would be auditioning for the role. I didn't give a fuck. It was up. You were just doing everything. I would do everything. How has your life changed since the very beginning of you being <sighs> on BBC? Because I felt like that was your big coming out moment. It was. Yeah, it was. Um, but I'm thankful, honestly. It did so much for my business. Yeah. So much for my business. Even when I started um, Body by Miss Cat, like that was... I started that just because I was on BGC. Uh, just I remember because when I you started that because my husband brought me a whole bunch of body yes. by Miss Cat tights, <laughs> bras, I mean everything. No. I was body by Miss Cat. One Damn. thing about him, he gonna support though. I know. He, he gonna is. support. Cause he is. literally, like I would be sending just hustling. Like, yo, I got all this shit. He like, all right, all right, all right I come buy some shit. Damn. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, like, he did. He was he was like, he was like, here. I was like, damn. And yes. I still got some. I, especially when you want to go work out and everything like that. Quality is <laughs> quality is there because this had a million washes. Don't play with it. <laughs> <laughs> so body by Miss Cat. Yes. You got a new, what's the new line? Um, it's a vore. A vore. I didn't want to say it the wrong way. Yeah, so what happened was is Body by Miss Cat was up for the women. Mm -hmm. But I had so many men who just wanted to support like that's one thing about philly i can honestly say my city i love my city they support me if don't if i don't never get booked nowhere else if i don't never sell no philly items nowhere else ride. philly gonna always ride like it has been for 10 plus years mm -hmm. so i had to do something that was for the men yeah. so that's when i came up with a war um and so a war is more like um it's like more urban streetwear 
Okay. So it's sweatsuits. It's more casual. Yeah. And it's more stuff for the men. Because I know you got a boutique, but I didn't. I, I'm of course I'm familiar with Body by Miss Cat, but yeah. I wasn't familiar with Avor because I didn't. I didn't. You're you like, know. wait, what is this? Yeah. I'm like, yes. there's a whole new venture going on. Yes. Yes. So um, the late the newest store is in Ellington, Florida. Yep. Um, in the Ellington Premium Outlet, and um, we love this new home. Oh, it's a vibe. It is. Oh my God, I love it so much. I mean, you you say you on your Zen time, so Florida is definitely <sighs> some parts. I know you get crazy out in Florida, but oh, chill. Real crazy. Real crazy. Real crazy. But see, okay, Florida for me, we were snowbirds at first. Mm -hmm. We just bought the house because we just we wanted to have something, you know, to um, we just wanted to purchase something somewhere so we didn't have to keep taking all these damn vacations. Florida was perfect. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, we got the Liquid Asset Yacht Group. You know, we doing boats now and uh, jet skis and... Yes, talk about your transportation. Oh, See, my God. You, this is this is what I love about you, right? Because the hustler is there, all right? Because it's so. not... It ain't just miscap reality. You got transportation services. You mm -hmm. have uh, boutiques. You got clothing lines. You got gardens. You yeah. got to come out with your own sea moss. Period. <laughs> your own elderberry and all of that. So talk about yeah. the transportation. Break it all the way down. Okay, so... I used to host in Tampa a lot, mm -hmm. and I had certain promoters that I would always work with. So the way it would happen was I would come down to Tampa, mm -hmm. specifically my business partner, Dane, um, and I would just host for like weeks. Like I would come down Monday and I wouldn't leave for like two weeks, and we would just literally do tours, like Tampa, Bradenton, Brandon area, and he knew all the promoters. Yeah. He like, come make some money. I'm like, cool. All this time later, we finally buy a house down there. He like, let's start something. Let's do something together. I'm like, shit, let's do it. Yeah. We bought our first boat together. Oh. Um, Cause him and my husband, they love each other. Mm -hmm. They got a fucking bromance going on, child. Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> but that always happens. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so we got our first boat, um, which was a 48 foot boat, wow. right? Then we got our second one, which is 70 foot. Um, it's amazing. Jet skis now. We have sprinters. We have charter buses. Like, it just took on a whole new life of its own. And I'm just, I'm just thankful. When y'all getting the jet though? Yeah. The PJ. Listen, I'm waiting. <laughs> you almost From there. You got the God's else. ears. Like, listen, yeah. I'm here for that. Yo, the PJ is going to be, I mean, everything else is amazing. Especially oh. in Florida with the jet skis and the yachts and all of that. It's up. Now you're married. Yes. What the hell? Girl. How did it be? This how, man. How you lock you down like this that? fine ass man. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> this man so motherfucking fine. And you know I know you love him because the way you talk about him, you be like, girl, <laughs> let me, mm, I can't <laughs> wait to get, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> talk about when it. When you are loved properly. Yeah. It's a vibe. When you it's got different. a real one, mm -hmm. you be like, fuck everything else. You be like, I don't even care about that shit. Like my husband is, um, He's amazing. Yeah. He really is. Yeah. And um, yeah, he just he came along and was like, yeah, you left. You over here now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I go with you. <laughs> I go with him. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm talking like help me get my credit together type yeah. of shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't never had American Express till I met him. Wow. Oh, so he changed your life. He did. Mm -hmm. All that money I was making and all the hustling I was doing, you know, sometimes you really need a real one to lead you. Right. And then you chilling. You you're like, I'm going to just be in my garden. And, yeah. you know. <laughs> We're going to go out back, get some lettuce. You want a Caesar salad? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what it was given. Mm -hmm. Like, so, you know. I'm thankful for him. So, what was the wedding like? Because oh, we went to the courthouse. Oh, yeah, went to the courthouse straight to the. I was straight wondering it because I never seen any pictures or anything like that. That's I why figured... everybody's so surprised when I say I'm married. They be yeah. like, when did that Where happen? did it come from? Mm -hmm. We've been married five years now. Wow. Uh huh. We've been together for ten. Married for five. That's amazing. We went to the courthouse, but he owed me a wedding. And we would have had one if I could stop opening up businesses. For real, you too busy. Yeah. I know. But how, I, look, how did I know. he feel when you first got with him, right? Because I, all the guys are, was, are on you, still on you, was on you. How did, you know, was it any type of jealousy going on? Like, how did he kind of maneuver he's around He's really that? not that type. Mm -hmm. And he let me do me. Mm. Like, he's not the type to be like, where are you going, what are you doing? He'd be like, oh, have fun. When I said I wanted to go on baddies, mm. like round two, he was like, yeah. All right. Go ahead. He was like, have fun. I got everything here. Yeah. And I was like, shit. That was easy. You know how you'd be like, mm hmm You mean it? You yeah. really mean it? He's like, yeah, go ahead, have fun. Yeah. So that like I am girl, I'm blessed. Uh that's that's I am blessed. I love it. And he's yes. from he's from Philly. He's right? from Newark. He's from Newark. New Jersey. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. 
So, because when he's doing Ramadan right now, yeah, right? Yeah, because he's Muslim. Yeah. He's Muslim. Yeah. I don't know. I automatically just thought he was from Philly because you know Philly. Because he looked, because he bald here with a beard. But yo, he <laughs> looked like he's from the city. He do. Yeah. He do. And so, he spent a lot of time down here, too. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. when I met him, I was living in Maniunk. Okay. I was okay. in Maniunk for like eight years. Buzz was saying you used to come to the studio, but I'm like, what you, what you record? He was like, you don't remember she used to come to the I was yes. like, I probably do. I probably had my head down. No, I see, I met Buzz through my ex. Oh. That, I was in the studio. I was, uh, girl. <laughs> girl. Wait. Listen. Uh, it don't even matter. Because <laughs> they, they ugly. Most of them ugly. Ah! <laughs> Wait. He from 75th? No. Oh. Uh, he's from South Philly. Oh, he's from South Philly. Yeah, okay. From South Philly. Okay. So he's from West Philly. No, wait, I had to ask about <laughs> I probably did, though. Oh, no, I was just, what? No, I'm from that way. I probably I had know. a couple exes you, from up to, you, uptown. Course, you, you probably did. We don't need to talk about it, though, because you're here. Hey! <laughs> Come on with it. If you see him point them out. <laughs> you better stop playing yes. with it. No, uptown, I, yeah, it probably was. You was running around up there. Who, who what? We, I had some good ones from uptown that I think about it. <laughs> Ooh, child's a blast from the past. But no, oh, this yeah. one was from South Philly. Okay, cool. Um, and at the time, I was trying to be an artist. Mm -hmm. Not because I thought I was talented, but because I was on the show and I was like, I could do it. Yeah, and then I got might in the as studio. well try everything. Why not? And then yeah. I got in the studio and was like, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, so, <laughs> so sound like how I thought it would. <laughs> you wasn't riding the beat right. I was like, ooh, that. <laughs> ooh, shit. All right. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. Let's get somebody right. to come help me. Right. And then even with the help, I was like, I it just wasn't giving. This is not for me. Mm. <laughs> now go back. But he was supportive. Yeah. No, he was. He still yeah. is supportive. He was supportive. Because you know when he be bring, I'd be like, all right now, all oh, this Miss Cash now. What he was being on? supportive, yeah. but it, ooh, child, it was not giving what I thought it was going to give. It, no, but you know, mm -hmm. look, you found your calling. You got I, all I let that go. is going. I let that go real yeah. quick. I said, oh, honey, <laughs> it's not giving rapper. It's not giving singer. It's giving like Carisha singing Usher. Ooh. In a, yeah, that's. Ooh. Yeah, that's not that's not giving anything. Yeah, we're we gonna be honest. We're gonna keep it pushing. I'm glad you was honest with yourself yeah, though. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I didn't remember. I was like, ah. You it wasn't nothing to remember. <laughs> don't even ask Buzz. He <laughs> don't ask him. Don't I ain't gonna ask him. I ain't gonna talk about it. So <laughs> going back to your husband, right? So mm -hmm. uh like you say, during Ramadan and we was talking about how you you know, you was like, Yo, I couldn't last. You tried to be supportive. How did how did that work, girl? Because I, I guess, obviously, you're you're not Muslim. No. So mm -mm. how does that work, you know, when you're trying to be supportive of things like that? It's kind of two different religions going on. Um. See, I'm not really into religious practices at all. Okay. I'm really not. Like, right now, I'm supporting him. It's his holy mom. Mm -hmm. So I'm not eating meat. I'm not drinking no weed, like, none of that. Right. I'm strictly, like, okay, I'm going to fast from some things mm -hmm. because I tried to fast with him one year with the food and, and six hours right. in. You was hungry. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, like, oh. your, your blood, oh. your sugar was low. And he was looking at me like, this is disgusting. It's been six hours. Yeah. You can really do better. And I was like, no, I can't. And so now I just support him in other ways. Okay, nice. It works. I love that. You, you know, gotta like, have that balance going on. Yes, because yeah. baby, the food, uh, mm -mm. no, I gotta eat. Now what's next for Miss Kat? Because I know you said you were doing a little bit of acting, right? Yeah. So are you going to get back into it? Oh, yes. What's, okay. Talk yes. about it. So, I mean, the last, um, like, major acting role that I had was on Empire. Mm -hmm. And that was years ago. Yeah. So ever since then, though, I've been really wanting to get back into it. Yeah. Like, I went to Freedom Theater. Oh, nice. Shout out Freedom Theater. Big shout out to Freedom Theater. Yes. Um, that was, like, my home, like, mm -hmm. from 12 years old up. Yeah, my mom tried to put me in there. She said I want to learn my lines. Oh, and so I was out of there real quick. It, went, it was <laughs> like, yeah, no. She was like, nah, I'm not. We wasting everybody's Freedom time. Freedom Theater was... Um, it, it was an experience. It really, really was. And it changed me, too. Like, it showed me that I really had the ability to do whatever I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Like, for little black girls, like, growing up, like, we need that. Yeah. You know? And so that's why I used to just do any and everything. Like, I just tried it. Like, you try it. Because why? You only got one, like, look, you might as well. Why you can exactly yeah and so um I'm ready I got so many with this new motion um from the baddies West thing it I'm talking so many acting roles oh and my goodness. indie films and you know all, just all type of stuff is coming my way and yeah. I'm so excited for what it. would your dream role be I love asking this question as people Ooh. that want to get into acting 
My dream role would be like a Grey's Anatomy. Oh, like something with like 50 seasons. I didn't even shit. think that. Oh my God. Oh yeah, yes. of course you would like, give, give me the 50 seasons. Give me the 50 season right. bag. Yes, That's come it. on. Give me that, that soap opera bag. That yes. guy in light bag. Yes. Ain't never coming off. Girl, the guy in light bag. <laughs> give me, the give young me, and the wrestling The young bag. and the wrestling. Because this guy in light still on might be off. I don't, I don't know. know. But well, you know what I'm talking about. That's the motion I want. When your grandma, was, it was lunchtime, you had to be quiet because she was watching her story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, give me that bag. Yeah, that's the bag I want. Um, and I, you know, because of like I said, like freedom theater, it's attainable. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You just gotta go after it. I want it. So I'm. That's where I'm at with it. I wow. want to act. Yeah. And act some more. I want that 50 plus seasons of just like when I did um, Empire. Mm -hmm. Taraji and I'm making 500,000 an episode. I know. Come on, per episode. I know. It's Stop playing. Yeah, you need some of that. And I'm, I hope you get it. Yeah. I know you're going to get it. Me too. For real. No, seriously. You got to put that in the air because that's that's yours. Mm -hmm. You can grab that. Now, have you been taking acting classes or anything like yes. that? So, okay. So, that's another reason why I love coming back to the city because mm -hmm. it's like everything, my roots are here. Yeah. So, um, I did theater too for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, all those little you know, indie theaters and like, you know, the little rec rooms and all that. I did all the little plays. Wow. I did all of them. You was in everything. What? I was in everything. <laughs> so I, that's where I want to go. I really want to get back to the acting. You want to get back to the acting. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Now, before you get out of here, I got to ask one question. Yes. I want to ask you if you could pick a, a group of celebrities okay. to be on baddies. Ooh. What celebrities Whoosh. would you put in the house? Female, and then we're going to go to the male. Ooh. What would be the most entertaining baddies celebrity edition? Oh my god. And tell Natalie come be a check for this idea too. <laughs> for real. Don't play with it. Zeus Network. I hope yes. y'all paying attention because this is a good Celebrity one. edition. Celebrity edition. Um Ooh, shucks. Okay. Who would I love to see in a celebrity edition of baddies? Oh. Who's like the A1 baddie for me? Damn. It could be R&B, rap. Um, it could be actor, actress. Okay. Sha, who is the actress, older, and she always be dropping them, um, she wear the afro now. Oh. Oh, you talking about Jennifer? No. Um, you know who I'm talking about? And she always does the clips on Instagram. Um, damn, what is her name? She what is her name? Older lady. She always plays like the mom, but she is sassy as fuck, and Jennifer. I love her. Je isn't that Jennifer who be singing and all of that? Yeah, she was singing with Brandy, and she always got something to say. She's like, I look good. Like, I look up with my beard. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Jennifer. Yes, okay, yes, yeah, yes. That's, a, that's what I was she thinking. She would definitely be yeah. my, what, like my number one pick, because mm -hmm. she gathers the girls <laughs> all the time. I got to think of what her last name is. Yeah. She gathers the girls. She would definitely be one because you got to have that old auntie mm -hmm. who just get everybody together and mm -hmm. you just shut the fuck up because you'd be like, Damn. sorry, auntie. Right. Yeah. So would that be her? She'll be like the mother of the house she pretty much. Like she going to calm everybody down. She would definitely be like the mother of the house. Um, you can be like two two or three more artists or mm -hmm. actors, like whatever. Who else? Who do I love? Hmm. See, because I'm going to tell you, I want people who are real. Yeah. I want the real. I want raw. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody that's like, don't turn it on and off with me. Yeah. Be who you are every day, all day, nonstop. Mm -hmm. Could you see Cardi in the house? Cardi I B? I could see Cardi Ooh. in the what? house. What? You said Remy. Remy. Ma? Oh, she gonna set it off. Yeah, she gonna she, shut it down. But for me, I feel like Remy would get burnt out. Yeah. I feel like Remy would have a limit. Mm. Yeah. She. Nah, cause I love Remy. Don't do that. Yeah, she <laughs> don't do that. I love her. Um, I think Cardi would really be a good one. Yeah, Cardi would. Cardi would be it a all. good one. I think Nikki would be a good one too. Yeah, Nikki would. Cause Nikki gives me like one extreme to the next. Like you might not even know. You don't know where it's coming. And you could be like, damn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely a Nikki. And then I need a boss. I need a Riri. Mmm. I need somebody that stand for like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm don't not play. With yeah, so like, you I might pull out a machete in this bitch. Oh, like, for real. Like, <laughs> pull, a, pull a Caribbean a side out. Yeah. Real like, quick. I need that. <laughs> Man, if we talking men, mm -hmm. like if it was to say maybe like a bad boys type yeah. of situation. Ooh. I would love a Diddy. 
Ooh, okay. Because Diddy gives me, he gives me the feels, honestly. He gives me so many different, um, just, just, he gives me highs and lows. He yeah. gives me, I'm a boss, I don't play that shit, but he gives me, I love my family and I'm soft and tender. Yeah. He gives me, I love to fuck with the hoes. Like, he just <laughs> gives me so much. Yes. Um, Diddy would definitely be a number one. Mm hmm But then we would need somebody that's like real hood. I would need like a beans in a building. Yeah. Like beans like, ain't gonna play though. But like like the 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 mat that used to like smack niggas. The, the, the South like, Philly Broad Street. Yeah, beans. like <laughs> like mittens, like yeah, yeah, that yeah, type like of mittens. Yeah, I would need that in the bad boys house. Mm. Then I would need maybe like a snoop, somebody that's like Chill. Real cool, calm to make it like a nice balance. Yes. You know, maybe have everybody meditate every mm -hmm. now and then. You know, <laughs> everybody calm down. Smoke this real yeah, quick. Yeah, smoke this real quick. <laughs> yeah, I could probably see that. That'll be fire, man. Yeah. Miss K, I appreciate you Absolutely. coming through, sis. Like, shout out all your business ventures you got going on. Oh, I mean, it's so many. Girl. Run <laughs> down the line, though, because they need to know. Put it all in one form. Let them know what it is. All right, y'all. So y'all definitely can contact me at, at MissCat215, M-S-C-A-T-215. Don't forget to follow Liquid Asset Yacht Group for all your luxury transportation yes. needs. Um, we got boats. We got sprinters. We got charter buses. You need a church bus uh, trip. You need to go Why to Six Flags. Why about to say you need a church? I'm like, hold on now. <laughs> y'all <laughs> change the game. <laughs> Oh, got yes, yes. On, um, we got over a boutique, over a boutique EPO, BBMC Cosmetics. Ooh, and some old shit, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm hosting in a city near you, so if I'm in your city, pull up on me. We're going to have a good time. Yes. We real heavy on the good energy and the positive vibes. Yes. Um, I got a gardening podcast. Yes, girl. It's called about? Come Get This Cat. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? How did, how did, what is that kind of yes, thing? Gardening, yes. Though? Okay, so... It's kind of, it's, it's a provocative the podcast. It's just, we garden. Okay. Yeah, like we really garden and like we really like growing lettuce and onions and like playing wow. Risha Roulette drunky shit. It's, it's a funny dynamic. Where can we listen to this? Well, it'll, I'm, I'm, I'm on episode four right now. I wanted to have at least five episodes before I dropped it. Mm -hmm. So it should be within the next two weeks. Check okay. out my Instagram page. Yeah. It'll be up with all the information. Um, and I'm so proud of it because I really do love the garden and talk shit with my girlfriends to get drunk. I love it though <laughs> because that's a whole nother side of you. Mm -hmm. you. You can do anything. Yes. And that's what it is, man. Miss Cat. Make sure y'all <laughs> check her out. Podcast out. Y'all need a yacht. I know y'all want to go out to Florida. Y'all want to be out on them jet skis and all that. Yeah. Get my girl up. You know what I'm saying? You need a, a nice uh, workout suit or anything yes. or some, some clothes from a boutique. It up. Oh wait, you got it online too, right? Oh yeah. Shout oh the yeah. Website so out. it's uh, www.avoid-couture.com mm -hmm. or bodybymisscat.com, mm -hmm. um, or you can call the store and I will charge a motherfucking card over the, right phone. Over the phone. Don't play with it. Period. Run them numbers <laughs> down, okay? Okay, <laughs> I appreciate. It. I love yes. you so much, and I'm so happy I and proud you of you. Oh, okay. Yes. Listen, man. Check my girl out. You know what it is. Period. Done. <laughs>